Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree and today's look is inspired by this jersey that I saw on Black Pyramid Clothing by Chris Brown. To start off, we're going to use the Makeup Forever Color Cream in white and I'm just going to do a very thin layer first. Um, I've never really used this all over my face so I wanted to try it out so I did one layer and then I let that dry since it does dry down matte. Then I just followed that downwards onto my neck, making sure that I cover everything. I'm pretty much going to cover my whole upper body, my arms, which, oh my god, this was so gross. It felt disgusting. But overall, it really gave me a cool effect, so we're just going to uh, paint the arms up. Now for my second layer, I'm going to go into the Mayron Clown White in Light. And I'm just going to place this all over my face just to give myself a very even white coat. So I first went in with a flat brush and I applied it everywhere. And then I took a damp sponge and I just lightly, like super lightly, tapped it all over to blend it together. I also did the exact same thing on my chest. I probably could have used a bigger sponge, uh, stupid, but I don't know what I was thinking. I ended up using the small, which is probably why it took forever, but you know the deal. And before you do anything else, you definitely have to make sure to set everything. So I'm taking the Mehron setting powder, and this one has a little bit of a white, I guess, like film to it. So I'm just going to place this all over my face. I started doing it with a cotton swab, but then I realized that I had a little, um, whatever this thing is called so then I just use that a powder puff yeah now for some shading I'm gonna go in with makeup geek concrete jungle shadow the original Jersey doesn't have any shading but I definitely wanted it to be a little bit more three-dimensional so we're just gonna go in with that shade and we're gonna place that on our crease and then blend it down our nose I'm going to use this exact shade to contour my entire face, so I'm just going to apply the color down and then blend it out. Now we're going to be taking, oh my god, this thing is so dirty, but I've been using it so much. So this is the Basics palette from Mayron Makeup, which is also in my collection with Mayron Makeup. So I'm just going to end up using the white, the black, and the red. Right here, I'm just taking a very flat brush and starting to create the base for my teeth. Once I have my base down, I am going to go in with the black and I'm just going to start outlining my teeth in whatever shape that I want. I ended up going in and fixing the teeth a little bit afterwards because I did make some a little too small. So just be very careful when you're outlining them. Just make sure that they're um, a little bit more oversized and not too small. And then once you're done outlining everything, I'm just going to follow the lines, I guess just follow the little lines of the humps on the teeth, which is going to create a very wavy line. And then I'm just going to fill everything in afterwards. Now I'm just going to create the, what it looks like to me is like a nurse mask. So I'm just going to create that on the outside of the teeth and then fill it in. I am using the photo as a reference, making sure that I kind of stay pretty true to the actual picture. So now I'm just going to fill it in with the red, which is super bright. Again, for all of these smaller details, like the lines connecting to the face and to the ears, I basically just copied the exact picture and tried to place them exactly how they would be on my face. And then I started to go in and doing, I guess, what would be the pop art aspect of the look, which is really, really hard and bold black lines. So we started off with our liner, and then I went in and did a cut crease with the liner, connecting that to the one that I did prior. I did some fake lashes on the bottom portion just to make the eye appear a little bit bigger. And then we went in and filled in our brows. As you can see here, my shape, I, I don't know. Like I didn't really like the shape itself, so I went in and changed it up a little bit once I was actually filling them in. And then here we're just continuing those very bold and hard lines around the nose. You can pretty much do whatever you'd like to fit your face shape, but I tried to stay pretty true to the actual inspiration picture itself. 
For some additional shading, we're going to take the color Corrupt, and this one is from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to place this randomly all over my face. I'm going to place this on my cheeks, and then where my brow bone meets my nose, as well as on my lower lash line. Just to add a little bit of depth and dimension so it's not so flat in 2D. I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlighter. You can't really tell on here, but it definitely looked really cool in person. So I just applied this to the highest points of my face just for, again, some added dimension so it's not so flat. On my neck, I decided to make one side a little bit darker than the other, so I shaded in a little bit further. And this is just basically the same thing as I did on my face, just shading the areas where you want or don't want, and then just blending everything in. Now to finish off the chest, we're going to do that little color detail that's on the jersey itself. And then to finish off the look, I did apply some red dots around my face and chest randomly just to give it a more pop art feel. We popped on a white wig and then some red contacts. We did turn down the lights a little bit on my camera and bumped up the redness so it looked a little bit more like a Sin City like type of theme. But other than that, this pretty much concludes my tutorial for today. Thank you guys as always for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one and we hope to see you in our next video. Love you. Ciao.